Oh, honey, I am so not threatened by you. My man wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. You're just mad because I have a Chad. And last time I checked, you don't have a man. So, looks like you're the one that's panini pressed. Call a spade a spade, honey. Keep making content. Oh, honey, I am so, oh, honey, I am so not threatened by you. Oh, honey, I am so not threatened by you. My man, oh, honey, I am so not threatened by you. My man wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. You're, oh, honey, I am so not threatened by you. <gasps> Gypsy Rose, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Some of those videos were too funny. Gypsy Rose Blanchard goes viral again. My name is Pearl. Welcome to Little Scary Stories. Come on in, Pearlies. Let's talk about people. And by people, you guessed it. Gypsy Rose. I'm talking about Gypsy. Girl, let me tell you the story behind that viral video. So basically, Nina, the influencer, has been making content out the living ass. Okay, she's been making content about Gypsy for like ever. She's She's gotten famous off of Gypsy content. Now, she was she was pretty big beforehand. I mean, just on her own merit, on her own stuff you know beauty influencer crap right but she really made a name for herself doing gypsy content anyway she's been going hard at gypsy so a couple this is this is a while ago i want to say a month ago um gypsy and ken were not officially together yet but they were on a live with one of the t true crime people I, I think it was natasha and they were talking and ken said that Nina should go to his bar and get some drinks. You know, he's a bartender, so he he could have she could have some free drinks. And um, Gypsy was sitting right there, honey, child. But they weren't officially together. Anyway, Nina also said that Mr. Ken allegedly. I'm gonna say allegedly because I can't confirm it. But this is what she said: that Ken slipped his phone number into her DMs, and then she made a video about it saying. Girl, your boyfriend's disrespecting you in front of you, child. Anyway, Gypsy, you know, basically got Ken to block Anina. So she's now officially blocked on Ken's TikTok. Some beef went down and Gypsy Rose made a little video saying that um, she in no way is threatened by you and that her man wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole and that she was jealous because she has a Chad. And before you ask, a Chad is like a preppy, um, masculine, alpha male, wealthy, you know, all of that. I don't think Gypsy understands what a Chad is, but whatever. Anyway, and then she says, and the last I checked, you don't have a man, girl. Anyway, <laughs> so that went viral AF, okay? It went viral AF. I'm writing a song about it. It'll be out soon. I'm putting that shit on Spotify. But with my own voice, not with Gypsy's voice. It's all going to be 100% me. I'm not going to use anything in Gypsy. I'm just going to use, you wouldn't touch my man with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> No, I'm going to write a song, but it's, 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 it'll be interesting. Anyway, that reminds me of a story. Um, okay, so in ninth grade, I had a little boyfriend called Casey Allen, who was the quarterback, and he was the most popular boy, but he was my man, okay? We were best friends for, like, ever. And he was my man, and people, all the little girls were jealous of Mr. Casey, and anyway, so Gina Allen go, goes and puts her phone number into, like, my boyfriend's notebook. Um, you remember those notebooks that zip all the way up? Anyway, he had one of those notebooks. So she, she stuck it into one of the pockets. And come to find out, um, my boyfriend said, well, Gina stuck her phone number into my notebook. And I'm like, what the hell are you telling me about it? What do you want me to do about it? You better not call that phone number. So anyway, we I of course threw the phone number away. But then I go up to Gina and, and I, to Gina and said, <laughs> sorry, I just amused myself. Do you guys care about this story? I'm gonna tell it to you anyway because I need to get it out. 
I, I had been triggered. Anyway, so I tell Gina, my man wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole. And um, I remember saying those exact words, word for word, girl, word for word. And then she said, well, I don't know how you even got him. You're not all that. I'm got, yeah, well, I'm the one with the man. I don't see you having one. Anyway, all of this reminded me of so ninth grade, child, so ninth grade. But anyway, that's the story behind Gypsy Rose Blanchard. And that's my story that I was triggered by. I just want to say this. Having a man is not a flex. Having, not needing a man is a flex, totally. Not needing a man is an absolute flex. Um, but it's not 1952. You know, it's 2024. Nobody needs a man. Men are not accessories. Sorry, I meant to say necessities. I guess men are accessories. <laughs> depending on who you talk to men aren't necessities anymore you know women are doing it on their own so you know it's not a flex to have a man or make fun of somebody who doesn't have a man child you can take my man I mean really it's <laughs> it's not 1950 I mean so gypsy again has gone viral for all the wrong reasons girlfriend cannot stay out of the gossip she can't stay out of the tiktok drama uh-uh she will give me content forever and a day can we talk about ryan girl so ryan went to la to do all of his little interviews for the reality show right and when he came home he said that you know the trip was hard to do because he he really misses gypsy it caused him to really miss Gypsy, and he looked so sad and heartbroken. My heart was breaking for the man. I feel so bad for him. And I'm going to say this. I, I've said it before on TikTok and on, on my other videos, but I'm going to say this. I do not think Ken loves Gypsy back the way she loves him. Ken has never officially publicly said that he loves Gypsy in any way, shape, or form. Ryan constantly says it. I really think that Gypsy has made a big mistake leaving Ryan for Ken. You know, she says she didn't really leave Ryan for Ken, but honey, we know she did. But I'll say allegedly, I do not see Gypsy and Ken lasting longer than a year. I really don't. I think Ken is not that into her. I think he's into the fact that Gypsy's famous. I think he's into the fact that Gypsy has her own reality show. I think he's into the fact that Gypsy has 9 million followers on social media. I think he's into the fact that there could be money in it. And I think he's into the fact that he's going to be part of her reality show and therefore giving him some fame and notoriety. Allegedly. And this is all my own personal opinion, of course. Maybe I'm wrong. I think he's into it for all the wrong reasons. That's just my own opinion. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you have not followed me, please do so. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. And I will see you guys real soon over in the next video. My name is Pearl. And this is Little Scary Stories.